here at Heritage Park, and this is the crosswalk where nine-year-old Aliyah Velasquez was hit and severely injured by a car just two weeks ago. But now technology experts tell me that crashes like this can be avoided if RTC were to decide to implement AI technology at high-risk crosswalks. It's amazing the people that just don't pay attention in this technology will catch that. Using artificial intelligence to avoid injury or death in crosswalks. Our camera here, pictured in black, within about 10 milliseconds, um, it's going to communicate to, the, to these lights that we see here and start flashing those lights. By detecting somebody's presence. It would give that person GPS coordinates and alerting an approaching driver to stop or slow down. Whether or not a person uh, you know, pushes a button, it's going to communicate to these flashing lights, begin flashing. It's something this company, Boulder AI, is using in Denver and some other cities and is now working to bring to Las Vegas, particularly to school zones. They'd cost up to fifteen to $20,000 for a large intersection with four cameras, but they can also collect data that can be used to predict future behaviors. The vehicles are speeding through school zones. Now that students are back at schools, he says there's no better time. Preliminary conversations, you know, it's not a done deal by any stretch, but Again, very interested in doing this. It's a good start to let the people there know that this technology does exist and it can help keep kids safe. A city of Henderson spokesperson tells us there are still no plans to make any changes to traffic control at this particular intersection, adding that they feel that there are, you know, adequate traffic control, you know, precautions already in place. Also, speaking of RTC, I spoke with a spokesperson from RTC who tells me that they are not familiar with the conversations that, about this particular technology, but LeBlanc did say that they're still working to draw attention and really attract interest in this AI technology. Reporting live, I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.